Finley called her driving, now it's David Soule, up to halfway. Armstrong, Chalmers, Gavin Hastings, the chance there as Tukolo gives it to Scott Hastings. Scott Hastings inside, taken on by Armstrong, almost up to Ireland's 22. Another lovely ball, Armstrong, Chalmers. That's a poor kick and he could have moved it by hand perhaps. It's danger in, now it's Tukolo. Tukolo to David Soul. Scott spread out a bit at the moment, but fed on there to Tukolo. Gavin Hastings almost made the pickup. That's Ireland's 22. Chance for Chalmers. On to Lenin. Lenin is half through. On to Jeffrey. Jeffrey feeds on to Gary White. It's a great try for Scotland. Gary White. White going. White, is he made it? Yes, a momentum try given. For the end of the match, and Scotland have won a hard-earned victory by 13 points to 10. Scottish 10 metres line. White the pick-up. Armstrong. Uh, there's a danger here for Blanco. But Blanco will run as he's doing there. Blanco again, marvellous stuff. Lenin out to Ducolo. Ducolo has kicked long. Orcas is having to race back, so is Songs, Ducolo and Songs, Songs on the fall, Orcas in trouble, the Scots there, Lenin going, a chance for Lenin, it's a try, I think, the whistle is, has gone, the arm is up, and Sean Lenin has scored his first try for Scotland. And White goes the other way, Richie Collins with the tackle, the feed out to Chalmers, a good block there by Bateman, but... Deliver it knocked forward, and that could be very expensive. Chalmers. And he's pulled it round. Three penalty goals for Craig Chalmers. And Scotland go ahead, 13 points to nine, and they've played 18 minutes of the second half. And I tell you, they say the line out of den of iniquity as Gary Armstrong goes inside to Jeffrey onto Sol. Soul feeding into Ken Milne. The take on by Cronin. Cronin is there. But he was robbed. But the try has been given. And White goes the other way. Richie Collins with the tackle. The feed out to Chalmers. A good block there by Bateman. But deliver it knocked forward. And that could be very expensive. Chalmers. And he's pulled it round. And welcome to the commentary box at Murrayfield. You'll already have sensed the quite unique atmosphere here in the heart of Edinburgh on what is a quite unique occasion, the first time in the history of rugby union that two home countries have met head-on for the Grand Slam. They've played internationals here at Murrayfield since 1925. But in all the intervening time, I don't think Murrayfield has ever buzzed with the same air of feverish anticipation as at this very moment, as one of the great sporting occasions is about to unfold. They've waited for this moment for a long time. Listen to the acclaim for them.
Scotland with a psychological drive on there. Taken from Armstrong to Calder. Calder drives in, and the Scots already taking the play to England. What a surge that was. Armstrong, but it's a penalty for being offside over the top. Craig Chavers then, are we out there on the right? He's pulled it, there's a loud roar from this east stand. It wasn't his best kick of all time because it bobbled and weaved, but it's given Scotland a 3-0 lead. Another penalty to Scotland. Last little look. The flags are up again. And Craig Chalmers' his second penalty goal brings him to 254 points. 6-0 Scotland lead, 10 minutes gone. Chalmers there. Oh, he's done it once more. I mean, it looked so inebriated as it went over. He would have thought it would have keeled over, but he's done it. Three penalty goals for Craig Chalmers. Scotland 9-4 ahead. They've played 36 minutes and the crowd are delighted. Pick up by Jeffrey. Jeffrey to Armstrong. Armstrong nicely out to Gavin Hastings. Gavin Hastings is a kick through. On goes Stanger. Stanger could be there. Fuck, it's a drive. A magnificent drive for the 21-year-old. His first try in a championship match, but his sixth try for Scotland in his sixth international. And, well, the euphoria around the ground is something else. Rob Andrew with a tap onto Rendo. Rendell to Dooley, but the Scots have driven it. Now Ackford has it. Probin held. Probin trying to rip it clear, but Finlay Calder trying to hold his arm down so he can't get it clear. Now Hill has it. Out to Andrew. Andrew there to Carling. Carling beautifully tackled by Jeffrey. Taken on by Bailey. Bailey on to Tegan Winterbottom. The referee's whistle goes for the end of the game. Scotland have won a famous victory. One of the unique occasions in rugby union football. And Scotland have won by 13 points to seven. And the scenes of euphoria here, well, just look at them.